Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our morning inspiration. Friday, January 19, 2024. I pray that the Lord will continue to be with you. May his favor continue to be on your life and your families. Our reading today comes to us from Matthew chapter 18, reading verses 12 to 14. And it says, How think ye? If a man have an hundred sheep, and one of them be gone astray, doth he not leave the ninety and nine, and go it into the mountains, and seek it that which is gone astray? Verse 13. And if so be that he find it, verily I say unto you, he rejoiceth more of that sheep than of the ninety and nine which went not astray. 14 and last, Even so, it is not the will of your Father which is in heaven that one of these little ones should perish. And I say, Amen. We give God thanks this morning for His Holy Word, reminding us that we are very precious to Him. As the scenario is given that a shepherd has 100 sheep and one of those sheep went astray. And we know the personality of sheep. They are stubborn creatures and they are hard to, to lead sometimes but at, this, but at the same time they can be very gentle they are very gentle creatures but they are stubborn that's their personality and so you always have to keep your eyes on them and so we are identified as sheep and so here the shepherd had 100 sheep and one of them went astray. And you think that, okay, well, I still, he still has 99, so he doesn't have to worry about that one and to put himself in any danger just for one sheep because he still have most of the sheep. But no, he doesn't see it that way. As far as he is concerned, every sheep is important. And so that one that, that went astray, he decided that he is going to go and find the sheep and bring him back to the fold. And so he left the 90 and 9, right, and went to find the sheep. And when he found it, he bring, bring it back to the fold. And he said that he rejoiced, and heaven rejoiced. One verse said, there is rejoicing in heaven over one sinner that repent. And as I said, stated earlier that sheep here is in representation of us. And so the Lord loves us, his sheep. And he desire to save us. He does not wish that any of us should perish, but that all of us should come to eternal life. And that is the reason why he sent his only son to die for my sin, for your sin. And so, because we are the apple of God's eye, and because we are valuable to him, he will go the extra mile to save us, to protect us from the wolves, from the bear, from the lion, right? Because as a shepherd, those are some of the animals that the shepherd would have to contend with. Because they are always lurking around somewhere to take the sheep. And so God is there as our protector, our provider. He, you know, the psalmist says what? He lead us to green pastures, to still waters. And so all of those tell us that we are very important to him. And so when we lose our way, Jesus comes in search of us to, to find us and to bring us back home. And so I pray that as we, we think about this word this morning, 
And as we think about how important we are to God, may we not take his love for granted. Because it would be such a shame for Jesus to suffer and for Jesus to go through all that he, he went through to save us and we still end up being lost. May God help us to hold on to Jesus, to stay close to him, our good shepherd, and may we continue to serve him and may we continue to run the race and never give up because Jesus is our Father. God bless you and God keep you as you continue to serve him. Amen.